Welcome to Green Tech Goals, the channel that immerses you in the invigorating world of sustainability. Today we're probing into an unexpected yet powerful ally in our quest for a greener planet, accountancy. Yes, you heard that right, accountants often seen as mere number crunchers could play a pivotal role in promoting environmental sustainability. We are about to explore a fresh perspective on accountancy, a model known as Comprehensive Accounting in Respect of Ecology or CARE for short. This approach is not just about balancing books or crunching numbers, instead, it's an innovative way to redefine what we consider capital. It expands the conventional understanding of capital to include not just financial assets but also natural and human resources. In the CARE model, organizations are encouraged to calculate profit only after they've repaid their debt to natural and human capital. This means taking into account the impact of their activities on resources and integrating the costs of preservation into their financial statements. The ultimate goal? To align accounting standards with environmental sciences and foster dialogue among stakeholders to collectively manage our natural environments. This may seem like an ambitious undertaking, but it's a crucial step towards creating a sustainable future. By acknowledging the value of our natural and human resources, we can foster a culture of responsibility and conservation. But don't just take our word for it, stay tuned, because we're about to dive deeper into this revolutionary concept. This is where the green revolution starts, and you won't want to miss what comes next. Let's delve into the heart of the CARE model and see how it integrates environmental impact into financial accounting. Imagine a world where businesses calculate their profits only after repaying their debt to nature and society. Sounds revolutionary, right? This is what the CARE model or Comprehensive Accounting in Respect of Ecology aims to achieve. At the core of this model is a radical redefinition of what we consider as capital. Traditional accounting views capital in monetary terms. However, the CARE model broadens this perspective to include natural and human resources, recognizing their invaluable contribution to the economy. Now you might be wondering how this works in practice. Well, the CARE model measures the impact of business activities on these resources. It's not just about how much a company extracts from the environment, but how its operations affect the overall health and resilience of ecosystems. This includes everything from water usage to carbon emissions and habitat destruction. But the CARE model doesn't stop there. It goes one step further by integrating the costs of preserving these resources into financial statements. This means companies can't just ignore their environmental footprint. Instead, they must account for it in their bottom line. The potential of this model to influence business decisions is immense. By making the environmental costs explicit, it encourages companies to adopt more sustainable practices. After all, if damaging the environment comes with a hefty price tag, wouldn't it make more sense to invest in greener alternatives? But how can this novel model foster dialogue among stakeholders? Find out next! Now, we're going to explore how the CARE model can bring about a collective conversation on managing our natural environments. Imagine a world where the language of business and the language of environmental science are not two separate dialects but rather two sides of the same coin. This is the world that the Comprehensive Accounting in Respect of Ecology or CARE model aspires to create. You see, traditionally accounting and environmental science have been like oil and water, never quite mixing. But the CARE model seeks to bridge this divide, to create an integrated approach where these two sectors not only speak the same language but also work together towards a common goal. The CARE model proposes a revolutionary change in how we define capital. It suggests that we expand our understanding of capital to include not just financial resources but also natural and human resources. This means that businesses would calculate profit only after repaying their debt to natural and human capital. In essence, it asks businesses to account for the environmental costs of their activities, integrating these costs into their financial statements. But the CARE model doesn't stop there. It also encourages a collective approach to managing our natural environments. It invites all stakeholders, businesses, governments, civil society, and even you and me, to participate in a dialogue on how we can collectively manage our natural resources. This approach emphasizes the importance of collaboration between different sectors in achieving our sustainability goals. It underscores the fact that sustainability is not just the responsibility of one sector or one group of people. Rather, it's a shared responsibility that requires us to work together. So, the CARE model isn't just about changing how we do accounting, it's about changing how we think about and interact with our natural environment. 
It's about bridging the divide between business and environmental science and fostering a collective conversation on how we can create a more sustainable future. What does this mean for the future of business and sustainability? The answer might surprise you. Imagine a future where businesses calculate profit only after repaying their debt to natural and human capital. In this inspiring vision, the traditional accounting model is revolutionized. The comprehensive accounting in respect of ecology, or CARE model, introduces a completely new way of looking at capital. It's not just about the cold, hard cash anymore. It's about the natural resources we consume, the human effort that goes into production, and the environmental impact of our activities. Under this model, businesses don't just account for financial capital. They also consider the value of natural and human resources. That means taking into account the cost of environmental liabilities, the impact of activities on resources, and integrating preservation costs into financial statements. It's about aligning accounting standards with environmental sciences, fostering dialogue among stakeholders to collectively manage natural environments. The implications of this approach are profound. It's a future where businesses are incentivized to minimize their environmental impact and promote sustainable practices. It's a future where profit is not just about financial gain, but about creating value that benefits our planet and its inhabitants. This potential future is not just a utopian dream, it's a tangible reality that we can achieve if we choose to rethink our understanding of profit and capital. If businesses start to calculate profit only after repaying their debt to natural and human capital, it could fundamentally change the way we do business. It could lead to a more sustainable and equitable world. But this change won't happen overnight. It requires a collective effort from businesses, governments, and individuals alike. It requires us to challenge our existing norms and to embrace a new way of thinking. It requires us to understand that our actions have consequences not just for us but for our planet and future generations. The future of sustainability is in our hands and every action counts. Discover how you can contribute in the next segment. It's time to turn our attention to you, our dedicated viewers, and discuss how you can contribute to this green revolution. Just like accountants are redefining their role by integrating sustainability into their practices, each one of us can redefine our roles in our daily lives. Let's start with our personal lives. Small changes can have a big impact. Switching to renewable energy sources, reducing waste, recycling, and composting are just a few ways to start. Remember, every small step counts. Ponder upon this. If we all make small changes collectively, we can make a significant difference. Now let's take it a step further. How about taking this green revolution to our workplaces? Encourage your employers to adopt sustainable practices, propose paperless meetings, advocate for recycling programs, or suggest energy-efficient lighting. You might be surprised by how much of an impact your voice can have. In our communities, there's even more we can do. Organize cleanup drives, promote local produce, or even start a community garden. It's not just about reducing our impact on the environment, but also about creating spaces that help our environment thrive. And for those of you who are students, ask your schools and universities to include sustainability in their curriculums. Knowledge is power. And the more people understand about sustainability, the more they can contribute to the green revolution. Remember, every effort counts in our collective goal for a sustainable future. We are all part of this earth, and it is our responsibility to protect it. So, let's start today. Let's make the changes that will ensure a greener and healthier planet for generations to come. Share your personal sustainability goals and plans in the comments below. Let's inspire each other, and together we can create a wave of change. After all, the green revolution starts with us. As we reach the end of our journey today, let's reflect on the critical role of accountancy in promoting environmental sustainability. Today we've explored the groundbreaking concept of comprehensive accounting in respect of ecology or CARE, a model that could very well be the game changer in our fight against environmental degradation. We've delved into the idea of redefining capital to include not just financial assets but also natural and human resources. It's a shift in perspective, a new way of seeing the world and our place in it. This isn't just about numbers on a balance sheet, it's about acknowledging our debt to the natural world and making a commitment to repay it. Remember, the CARE model isn't just a theoretical concept, it's a practical tool that organizations can use to calculate profit only after accounting for their use of natural and human capital. 
It's about measuring the impact of activities on resources and integrating preservation costs into financial statements. The goal? To align accounting standards with environmental sciences and foster dialogue among stakeholders to collectively manage natural environments. But this isn't a task for accountants alone. Each and every one of us has a role to play in this green revolution. Whether you're an entrepreneur, an employee, a student, or simply a concerned citizen, you have the power to contribute to environmental sustainability. You can start by demanding greater transparency from organizations, by supporting businesses that prioritize sustainability, and by incorporating sustainable practices into your own daily life. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards a greener future. This is just the beginning and there's so much more to explore, to understand, and to act upon. So, don't forget to subscribe to Green Tech Goals and join us in our next adventure into the captivating world of sustainability. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can ensure a thriving planet for future generations. Let's make it happen.